Where was was there a point last year with with Ben where you where you saw that uh, that he could be a special yeah. receiver? I think um, in the passing game we'd always seen some things in practice. The opportunities presented themselves a lot in that Baylor game. Um, the Oklahoma game early on was an early flash that they just presented some things defensively that he was able, we were able to take advantage of, and he happened to be there in the progression and get some tar targets, right? Baylor game, he really made some big plays that I think for Colin was a step of, hey, let's let's go ahead and target this guy some more. Yeah, Colin said that Garrett Oakley is kind of guy that really flashed this spring. What have you mm -hmm. kind of seen from him that he can help you guys in that respect? Uh, very similar in that regard on being a receiving threat. Um, he's made a lot of development, um, physically changed a lot. Both him and Braden Lofton came in as young freshmen, kind of guys that are gain weight under underweight guys. Both have had a great off season. Braden's a little hung up right now with a hamstring injury that's kind of prevented his practice reps, but I would say some more deal, athletic ability, and then willingness to learn, and, and it's a good group. It's a lot of guys that work well together. They help each other. They train hard. They practice hard. So those kind of things have flashed. And is Will Swanson kind of the ideal replacement for Sammy Wheeler at this point? Yeah, I think Will maybe brings some different things to the table, but Will had a great development last year. He just had a very experienced guy with Sammy as a six-year player that it's hard to get them all on the field. And the same thing I told Wyatt, but um, Will has come along really well. He's practicing hard. He's made a lot of gains, and I think we've got a good group, a good group that's ready to go play next year.